Hi everyone, welcome back to Hope and Coffee. I've got my coffee and I am Hope and we are sitting here having a pretty good afternoon. I've got the little pups, I've got the guys on the bed right here. Leo's got his stick. Argos is being a potato, look at him right there. <laughs> and we're just having a pretty good afternoon. I am, um, I'm breaking in my new wig. I'm kind of seeing how it looks. So apologies if it looks a little fluffy. I'm not really sure how to yet manipulate wigs. I think I need to get myself one of those little head forms so I can um, blow dry it a little bit and get it um, styled the way I want it. I don't know, but I literally just got it today and I'm actually very happy with it. Um, it kind of gives me that princess vibe that I've been missing. But anyway, today's episode was actually inspired by my therapist and she is an absolutely phenomenal person and y'all may have heard me mention her in the past just about sometimes her words really resonate with me and I in turn like to share some of those nuggets of wisdom with you all when I feel like it's something that we can all take to heart and one of my last sessions with her she asked me um what kind of person do I want to be become? Not the person that I am uh, and not the person who I was, but the person I want to become. And she asked me a about 10 different questions. And I'll go over some of the questions with you. I probably won't go over all the questions with you. Uh, and I may not even answer them all directly for you because like these are really more introspective for me and I'm not going to answer them fully for you all um, with my full answers because I think they're really more like they're for me to really sit and think about with regards to the path and the journey that I'm taking and I think it's really important because as you guys know I did kind of start another or a continuing 90 day journey f starting October 1st so this is kind of part of that and I um, literally wrote it down, have my little notes, because again, I love her nuggets of wisdom. I love her insight into a lot of different things. But she, it, she's, she told me to call it, be the person you want to become. I like that, um, because I'm just not really sure, like what I'm like looking forward to right now. Uh, I don't know what my one, three, five year plan is really. Um, I kind of know what I would like to do in one year with regards to my work. Uh, but I'd also love if maybe I like my YouTube channel grew a little bit. Um, I'm having such like such a good time with it and creating content for it. But I'd also love to be able to see it grow a little bit more and find a good footing and a good audience that is receptive to the things we talk about. So finding that good niche that fits what people want and need. Um, but that's just a, more of a personal goal. And it's, but it's still part of being, com, becoming, um, being the person I want to become. Uh, so the first question she asked me says, what does she eat? What does the person I want to become eat? And I don't think she's really meaning like, like, okay, what does she have her breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Um, I think it really means more like, or at least for me, and this is how I interpret it. And you are welcome to interpret this question in any way that feels good for you. Uh, and I think that is the beauty of therapy in so many ways is therapy is exactly what you make of it. And as much as you put into it is exactly what you're going to get out of it. So when I hear this question and I say this question aloud of what does she eat? The person I want to become eats not on, like eats, eats for health, eats for fun, um, eats for enjoyment, but also eats with thought, um, eats with consciousness of what she's eating, um, makes a concerted effort to feed and nourish her body appropriately while still also allowing herself to enjoy time when she's with her friends and family. Um, she does not 
overindulge too frequently when possible um, because she knows that can still also not lead to good times either or can lead to not great times. Um, but I think that would be the way I would define what does she eat because I don't think I have to define certain foods. I don't think I have to define like a breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal plan. Uh, I already do that kind of on my own on Sundays or Saturdays when I make up my grocery list and Sundays when I go pick up my groceries. I, um, I already have kind of my meal plan like grocery list, but I think that's how I'm interpreting this particular question. And, um, Again, so you're welcome to answer that question for yourself in whatever way it feels right. The second question is, what habits does she love? And for me, this is a little more specific, and I do have a couple habits that I do truly enjoy. Some of them are writing and painting, and especially adult, like paint by numbers, I really love those, and crochet. Now, all three of those are three items of creativity that I have found myself kind of with a mental block about just simply because I have um, I have MDD I have major depressive disorder and it prevents me from being able to focus pretty frequently pretty heavily on things that I enjoy I tend to get very uh, unfocused or flighty or feel feel as though I need to do other things or lose interest in things pretty quickly, even if they're things that I love um, and it's something I'm working on. So I am actively trying to find that enjoyment again, find that thread and working with my therapist in order to um, reinvigorate some of the habits that I would love to get back into. Number three, who surrounds her? And that is a really great question that um, I do have a hard time answering because I don't have a ton of people who currently surround me right now. Um, I like I spend a lot of time with my mom here lately, uh, especially when I drive over to Georgia and I get to go spend weekends with her. Uh, she came and spent a weekend with me not too long ago. But um, other than one friend who's come over here a couple of times from Georgia, I really haven't had anybody who has come to visit me and it's been a little sad but I've also not really established the greatest friend network here in Huntsville either so that's also been a little disheartening. I do have one budding friendship that I'm very excited is kind of growing and she is absolutely wonderful and I can't wait to start to do more things with her. Funny enough ran into her at Target yesterday uh, which was kind of kismet but I knew her before that. We just happened to both be at Target at the same time and we're on the same aisle at the Super Target. And so it, we just stood there for like 20 minutes talking to each other, which was super fun. So um, we've got some Halloween plans that we're trying to flesh out and some board game nights and probably going to like hang out at Barnes and Noble and all these sorts of fun stuff. Uh, but who surrounds me are... I, I would love to surround, surround myself with people who are accepting of other people, other ways of thinking, um, people who are not only um, easy to talk to, but friendly, open, um, fun. Uh, I love people who are very open for like just change and diversity, for... Um, just having open conversations and um, people who just like to go and do things. Like those are some people that I really enjoy. I love people who like to play games. Uh, and, and when I say games, like I mean board games or D&D &D and things of that nature. But um, those would be the type of people I would want to surround myself with is like I need someone who can maintain a childlike spirit even in the adult mindset even as the world is still kind of crashing down around us they can still find some joy in the world that we live in and can still find kindness to give to others because that's what I try to do um, 
and I'm see that we're running up against our 10 minute marker and you know I like to keep it around that time so I'm just gonna leave it to those three for the people that I want to become uh, there are quite a few but if y'all wanted to hear any more of these questions then please let me know down below and I will see you all on the next page have a great one